best if used before, sell by, use by. What is the difference? You might be used to checking best by dates on perishable items at the supermarket, such as milk, bread, or eggs, to buy the freshest ones. Or when you find a really old jar or something in the back of your fridge and you wonder if it's still good or not. Does a product expire when this date passes? Will it make me sick? Do I need to throw it out? These are all common questions consumers have due to the confusing system used for date labeling foods. According to the USDA, there is no uniform or universally followed method for date labeling in the United States. Therefore, a wide variety of different phrases are used, they may be located in different places, and they may mean different things. So what should I do? You should help prevent food waste by evaluating your food for spoilage and not just blindly following these dates. The first thing you need to know to be able to do this is to understand what these different dates mean. The USDA defines best by, use by, or before to mean when a product will be of best flavor or quality. It is not a purchase or safety date. Sell by tells the store how long to display the product for sale or inventory management. Again, this is not a safety date. There is still an undefined length of time this product is expected to be of quality in a consumer's home after purchase. And a use by date is the last date recommended for the use of the product while at peak quality. Again, it is not a safety date, except in the case of infant formula. What does best flavor or peak quality mean? Can I still consume my product past peak quality? The answer is yes. You just need to know what to look for as signs of spoilage or staling and when to look for them. Tip number one, sealed or open. Once products are opened, they are exposed to spoilage elements, such as oxygen, bacteria, yeasts, and molds in the environment, and spoilage will accelerate once opened. If they are still sealed, they will last much longer. If something is still sealed and it passes its best by date, it might still be okay. On the other hand, if something is opened, it might spoil or go stale even before the best by date. Tip number two, storage conditions. Has the product been properly stored? For example, has your milk been in the fridge the whole time or did you accidentally leave it out on the counter for a few hours? Improper storage methods can accelerate spoilage. Tip number three, know the product. Know which products are most perishable. Milk, cheese, meat, produce, and bread have the highest likelihood of spoilage. Tip number four, know what to look for. Visual cues can be used for products such as bread and cheese, which commonly grow mold, or bananas and avocados, which turn brown when overripe. You can use your touch to see if meat has become slimy or if produce has gotten squishy. And lastly, you can give your milk or cheese a sniff to see if there are any off odors. Tip number five, spoilage versus staling. If a product is showing signs of spoilage, such as off odors or mold, then do not eat it. If a product is just showing signs of staling, then it is still safe to eat, but it may have a lower quality. Products such as rice, pasta, and tea might not necessarily go bad, but may lose their flavor intensity and texture over time. Can you think of ways to transform stale products into new useful ingredients? How about making French toast with stale bread or using stale tortilla chips as breading for chicken? Get creative to help stop food waste. The best way to avoid food waste from spoiled food is to eat your food before it goes bad. So meal plan, make a shopping list, and use ingredients that are going bad first. Thanks for listening.